Oi, 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 what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Before we get into these purple lobsters, I want to say it's a beautiful day here in Tauranga, New Zealand. I think we hit around 27, 28 degrees Celsius today. Just a look at that fucking view. Take it in, suck it in. There's a duck down by the shoreline down there cruising. We had a kayaker over there just about capsized. What was he doing? I don't fucking know. I think he's a bit lost. But uh, I think that's good enough for a segue into the video. So uh, you can see what I got here is a pair of purple lobsters from my buddy PMK Clubs. Now I'll put his shit somewhere in the video in the details, probably in the video in the description, in the comment section, probably on my forehead as well. Now he is a good, okay I say he. Now let's, before we get into this, I want to say the customer service from PNK Clubs was by far the best I've had, not just in the sneaker game, but outside the sneaker game, he's been really good and really helpful. What the fuck? Can you guys see that on the other side of the bridge there, there's like a beach. Now I don't know, I'll try to zoom in, but there's a horse on the fucking beach. Somewhere, what the fuck? How do I get this? Right there, top left. See that horse on the fucking beach there? What the fuck you doing, mate? There's no grass over there, buddy. Hey? You're a bit cooked. All right. Anyway, let's leave him alone. Get back to the sneakers. Getting easily distracted as usual. Um, PMK Club's fucking customer service was fantastic. I don't want to say it's a dude because I find out half these sellers are chicks a bit late. And then I also find out from some of you guys, you message me on Instagram and show me the fucked up shit you guys send these bloody sellers. Trying to flirt with them and send them dirty pictures and all these kind of naughty things you know this is a christian channel guys i don't know what you thought this was eh? nah i'm just kidding but yeah um no dick pics please guys that shit's uh, a bit weird um so we received the box dhl seemed to have a fucking wonderful time with this kicking it around the place um nike sb dunk low pro og qs size 10 because that's what i wear color is voltage purple slash voltage purple slash voltage violet and you guessed it slash voltage fucking violet uh, really creative guys um, style code is bravo vector 131055 the box did scan I double checked that um, doing it on camera is a bit of a waste of time so let's get that out now the sneakers came with three pair oh they came pre-laced take a look at this they came pre-laced they came with three pairs of spare laces one being like a salmon pink being like a light blue and then black also on the side now this is where the lobster comes and gets real got two pairs of rubber bands now if you guys have ever eaten lobsters provided you're that cultured you know what i mean because a lobster is a cultured meal as some would say um they come bound like the pincers come bound you know so these are supposed to be the toe boxes signifying the pincers i guess they get one of these around there to show that your lobster's been taped up and he can't yeah all right getting that out of the way all that shiz First look at the shoe guys, color. Now I haven't actually come across these in hand, but I have seen multiple, multiple, multiple videos and uh, images on these. And I just want to say that these came fucking close to being so accurate. Oh, they are so fucking accurate. What am I, what am I trying to say? These things are fucking good. Now, starting with the shape, look at that shape. Take a mental image, a mental snapshot, compare it in your dome, go online and just, you know, humor me. But if there is anything you guys are spotting with this that I uh, may have missed, just, you know, smack me over the head and rectify me. Easy. Uh, the Nike swoosh placement is fucking good. Your gap between that and your upper pattern tab is looking good. Your stitching on it is looking fantastic. The thickness and spacing of your trim around the purple swoosh looking good to me as well. Good quality leather as well. Where I have had purple lobsters in hand before and the reps weren't good, but these were fucking far outshining the other reps i had um the trim the leather trim behind the swish was actually a place where they copped out on these not so much very good uh there's a sort of like a what's the word a tie-dye pattern smoky pattern going on the swish looking fantastic it's actually a bit metallic if you could see that as well as the stitching here on the upper has got a metallic finish too and there goes the sun right when i needed you most eh? right when i fucking needed you hello darkness my old friend as some people would say uh the nike pattern the nike embroidery on the rear patch is looking nice and symmetrical if you look at both pairs ah, let's put those down you guys see that there we go looking nice and equal between both patches high quality embroidery uh swishes meet at the same places 
and just placement in general is good. Um, what I really like is this fucking checkered pattern. I don't know if I went over this, the checkered pattern on the inside of the sneaker, but it is looking fucking nice. Look at that. Taking a quick look on the inside as well. There's your stitching. A little bit messy, but it's not going to stop the um, sneaker from coming apart whatsoever. Flipping the sneaker over, taking a look at the tongue tag. Nike SB, really clean from the rear. Really clean. Um, I also want to note that this has a fat fucking tongue for you boys and girls. If you like a bit of fat tongue in your life, this has got plenty. Get it in ya. All right, moving back out to the, because um, the sun's out, looking at the stitching, the metallic stitching on this upper here. Can you guys see that? The stitching on this thing is phenomenal. Phenomenal, not too tight, not too loose anywhere. It doesn't pull any stitchings through. Um, looking at the other one, do a quick, quick, young rotation of this thing. And then, look at those toe boxes, if we haven't done this already. Looking good, perforations are nice. Sneakers not loose in any sort of fashion. They fit fucking well, true to size. Um, so that's something, you know, if this is your guys' pair of sneakers and this is something you've wanted, go get them. For me, myself, uh, I'd rather prefer red lobsters or blue lobsters, maybe even the greens, but yeah, not so much a fan of the purple. What I do like about the purple is this black midsole transferring to purple and purple on the top. Uh, it doesn't show dirt much at all, neither does the suede. Taking a look at the bottom of the sneaker, there you go, standard sole. Yeah, so that's pretty much all as far as I can remember to go over these sneakers, guys. If you liked the video, fuck you. If you didn't like the video, fuck you as well. Um, hopefully catch you guys on the next one, you know, after just uh, purposely insulting you. But you know what? Uh, Rusty boy's got to get back in the ring somehow. So cheers for watching the video, guys. Um, before I leave you, I will actually say I'm not going to be doing the black light on these sneakers just because it aids and abets with counterfeit and that's the sort of shit I can't get down with people trying to rip people off by selling reps as retails. Pretty sad. So, yeah. Uh, here's an insult anyway. You got your zoom unit and got that fucking mushy shit on there. So, yeah. Feels good. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace and go fuck yourself.